Hello everybody, Luke back from The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Honeywell Home T6 Pro Series thermostat. Now, there are a ton of thermostats out on the market right now. A lot of new brands out there with Nest and so many others jumping in there and really pushing thermostat technology forward real fast. Now, Honeywell's T6 Pro Series is in response to many of the others out there that offer a lot more smart home features. This is a Wi-Fi enabled, comes with an app. You can like, uh, link it to Echoes and Google Home devices and more to control it on the go or through a wide range of different devices. Now, we're gonna be breaking this all down, talking about it, showing you how it works, and walking you through some of the pros and cons of this compared to other thermosets on the market. Now, this does work with a wide range of different equipment on the market, but talk to your um, installer, double check that it works with your furnace if you already have one, because I won't guarantee it will work with all. It did work with mine though. Now, real quick though, if you're new here, help us grow this channel. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. It lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Hopefully we can help you out. By letting YouTube know you enjoy what we do, YouTube shows our videos to more people. Also, if you want to find this thermostat on Amazon, I will put a link to it down below. All right, let's dive into it. This is the stock stat up here right now for what the screen looks like. This little red icon, that's actually just a reflection of the camera. That's not part of the thermostat. My camera's recording light is reflecting off the screen, unfortunately. Now, if you tap it, you can get all the different controls. You can set it up too to always be back like this. I have mine go into a sleep mode when it's not in use. And it's a very simple system here. I can scroll through cooling, off, heat. I can raise the temp, lower the temp, see the, um, the current time. Now, if your thermostat has an exterior temperature sensor, they can set it up to display the exterior temp too. There is a fan here. You can have auto for whenever the furnace needs it, on to always run, and a cycle mode. Now, cycle mode will randomly turn the air on and off in your home to move the air through the house and help keep the house fresh. Now, I've actually been a big fan of this. I find that when the cycle mode is on, uh, it definitely helps keep the dust down in my home. So we use this often. Now, the thing about this, in other ones, like the Daikin I did a review of, I could set, hey, I want it to run X amount of time. I believe this runs about 10, 15 minutes randomly throughout your throughout the hour. Where my Daikin will at the start of each hour kick on for 10 minutes, cycle the air for 10 minutes, and then kick off. So keep that in mind, this is very different from that. Just so you know, and I'm really not sure exactly how the cycle goes. I haven't been able to find that in any of the paperwork. Leave me a comment. Do you know how often the cycle works? Leave, let me know. But you've got the pretty standard. I think most people just leave it in auto. So when the fan, when it needs heat on a particular floor, it'll turn the fan on with that. And then there is the menu. And in here, you can do things like set up a schedule. I have mine off right now. I'm just having it hold. I work from home, so it's not like I'm leaving a lot. Um, it does have a screen lock in here where you can go and create a parental lock. If you have kids and you don't want them to uh, mess with the temp, you can do that in here. Um, and you can do full lock and all kinds of different things. So you can create a pin, require them to do it. Um, Wi-Fi in here, so screen lock Wi-Fi. So this is where you'll go in to set up your Wi-Fi. Very easy, you download the Honeywell Home app, and then you go in here and you uh, have access to everything that this can do. Plus, you, I find it a lot easier to set up schedules. You can do geofencing and more through the Honeywell app, and we'll show you that in a little bit. Here's where you go into brightness. Now, brightness is for when it goes into sleep mode. You notice here I got it set to off. You can adjust it however you want. If you want to be able to glance at your thermostat and be able to easily see the temp at any time, that's an option. But this is a bedroom, so I have this set to off when we're not using it. And it's saving. There we go. You have recovery mode. Don't mess with recovery mode. It does kind of try to reset everything. You can adjust the clock on here if it's wrong. Clean screen, temporary lock it so you can wipe it all down, not trigger a bunch of stuff. The temp scale in here is where you go into Fahrenheit, Celsius, etc., and reset all the settings and all the Wi Fi and all that. Uh, not a bad thing to do to wipe the Wi Fi if you're selling your home and you're taking it all with you. And then some different um, equipment status. You can go in here and talk, look at all that. So keep that in mind. Again, if you don't really know what you're doing a little bit with some of the advanced. Uh, tech stuff, I wouldn't mess with it. Device info, and then we're right back to schedule. So it's a very simple, very straightforward ability to take a look at all that. So there you go. There is the furnace itself. In a moment, I'm gonna go set up the mobile app and we'll take a look at that. 
All right, real quick look at the mobile app. Now, one thing that's really cool about this is you can go in and have the ability, for example, to have multiple homes. You have a vacation home or a, a rental property you're using to do this. Uh, this is a great way to control multiple homes. But, you know, master bedroom in here. Right here I can see runtime, and you can see it ran for two hours uh, yesterday. Uh, pretty straightforward on that. You can see months. You can set up the schedule in here. Now I have the schedule off, but you can go in here and say wake, um, away, home and more, play around with it. Kind of always be careful. I think some people really try to go into huge temperature swings and huge temperature swings aren't good for your furnace and can actually cost you more money than you're really saving. And then you also have the ability to change the settings here, go to fan, always on and more with it. Lastly, you got the mode, heat, cool and off. Now, one of the few things I don't really care about this, the one I should say, let me rephrase that. One of the few things it's really missing that I wish it had that my carrier that I had down in Texas and my Daikin used to have was the ability to have both heat and cooling on. And you could set ranges and say, if it warms up above 75 degrees, turn on the air conditioning. If the heat, if the temp in the home drops below 68 degrees, turn on the heat. When I lived in Texas, that was really nice because you'd get some nights where it was really cold. But then in late afternoon, it's really warm and you want the air conditioner to kick on. In Michigan, not as big of a deal. Um, but that's the only thing I can really say that this thermostat's missing that others have. Now I know others like Ness and Echo B and others can like lock a range. You can say it can only go between 70 and 74, for example. This one unfortunately doesn't do that feature. Um, it's really just a standard thermostat. Not flashy, not particularly special, but it gets the job done with it. So there you go. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. If you're new here, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. It will let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. If you want to find this on Amazon and you're considering it, I'll put a link to it on Amazon. Again, though, do your research. Make sure this actually will work with your thermos uh, or your furnace or your air conditioning system, whatever it may be. Make sure this works with it. You don't want to find yourself in a position where you bought something and it doesn't work. My Daikin, for example, natively without some type of special equipment did not work with this. But my York, which I now have, does. So keep that in mind. Well, there you go. There's the video for today. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'm not an HVAC guy, but I've used this for a while now. And hopefully I can answer some basic questions about the thermostat. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. We'll be back with another video real soon.